This time of year, my mom is always on my mind a lot. She died at the end of April, eight years ago. And, uh, you know, and then that's followed up with Mother's Day. And anyway, I miss her. Um, and this poem is about something that happened that's a couple of months after she died. It's called The Couple. They reminded me of us, the 60-ish woman and her elderly companion visiting the public gardens. They held hands, the older one grasping a cane with her other free hand. And I wondered, did her hand feel like yours? Papery but warm. They walked as we used to, the younger woman matching her steps to the elders, almost like a dance. An auburn head bent toward a silver one, a murmur, a shared laugh. And in that moment, I felt the ache of your absence. Treasure this, I wanted to say, every day with her is a gift. As if I'd spoken, the younger woman's gaze met mine, silently said, yes, I know. Thank you. And this is like totally different. Um, we got this uh, bunch of poetry prompts, which are really nice, right? Because every once in a while, like, what am I going to write? And this one was presented as, this is your image. There's a bag of groceries sitting in a parking spot, just the bag of groceries. So uh, the very creative title for this poem is, Upon Finding a Bag of Groceries in the Parking Lot. <laughs> it was one of those 99 cent tote bags, the sagging top agape as if wailing at being abandoned, forgotten more likely. A glance inside the bag revealed a six pack of fruit punch juice boxes, a block of cheddar cheese, a sulfur yellow plastic bottle of mustard, an eight pack of hot dog buns, half of them flattened by an economy sized jar of grape jelly. All of this suggesting a harried, distracted, distracted parent setting the bag down to wrangle a recalcitrant toddler into a car seat and with an exhausted sigh driving home, where tonight's dinner will be bunless hot dogs naked as mole rats, with a side of macaroni and. <laughs> Thank you. And, because um, I wasn't here in April, I was gonna read this, because uh, April, of course, is National Poetry Month. And this one's called Birthing a Poem. It might start as a whisper, a word, a phrase, an idea, tickling the back of the mind, persistent, insistent, until it's put to paper. In the sunlight, it might sprout like a seed and grow lush and vibrant, or dissolve like a snowflake and leave no trace. At times, the senses, dazzled by the depth of a star-spilled sky, gasping, at brutal, lung-freezing cold, transported by sonorous chanting, drunk on the smell of a newborn baby, seize the pen and fill the page trying to recapture the moment. Emotions speak their own language. Anger demands a vent. Regret seeks a confessional. Love and wonder deserve a song. Enjoy a playground, and grief at all times must be given a voice. In the end, there is nothing without intention. It is intention that scrapes down to the essence, sands it smooth, buffs it to a soft glow, and then flings it into the darkness and hopes for the best. Thank you.